Despicable Me 4 is on its way, and it's reasonable why. From Michael Scott voicing Gru, to its light and family friendly type of filmmaking, and just like most franchises, the Despicable Me franchise has a... Yet this timeline can often be a little confusing, especially when the franchise isn't released in chronological order. So let's go on an adventure, and find out when what happened. Out of these six movies, we've got to start with this one. Going all the way back 3.8 billion years BC, as this wasn't just the year when DiCaprio decided to only date girls under the age of 25, but also when the Minions first started to exist, stating that the Minions' story begins when all forms of Earth's life started to exist. My apologies. And as they progressed through history, they did have some nice intentions. They tried to help T-Rexes, Egyptian pharaohs, and even vampires as the Minions showed their unfortunate habits of accidentally hurting or killing instead of helping. Now let's make a massive jump in time, as we'll switch all the way to the 20th century, starting in 1927, just two years before the world truly started to get the F-word. Because in 1927, Scarlet Overkill was born, one of the first supervillain characters. However, it wasn't until the late 1960s that she crossed paths with the Minions, once again, the Minions wanted to serve, but instead, they unwillingly helped Scarlet with her plan to steal British crown jewels. But that is the late 1960s. I need to go a little back. 1960 is the year when Gru was born. And in 1968, he meets with his Minions. Or at least... That's what she said! <laughs> young Gru managed to capture Scarlet with a homemade ray gun, and gets away with the Minions. As the Minions instantly see Gru as their new boss, which leads to the events of Minions The Rise of Gru. Now we're making a jump from 1968 to 1976, as we're heading into the time when Gru starts to plot his supervillain ideas, and meets up with Wild Knuckles, who teaches him everything about villainy, and even teaches him to rob the Mona Lisa painting. These types of actions truly define Gru's personality, and set him up for a move 36 years into the future. Have you ever met up with an old friend and thought, damn, hasn't aged in years? Keep that question in mind, because in 2012, Gru decided to adopt Marco, Edith and Agnes, a decision proven to be key to his character development. As the kids make it seem Gru found his inner peace, which he evaded for decades due to his obsession with becoming a supervillain. Don't care. A year later, in 2013, Gru started a professional relationship with Lucy Wilde, which rather got out of control and eventually led to their marriage in Despicable Me 2. Four years later, in 2017, Gru leaves his work at AVL and discovers that he has a twin brother, Drew, a man who's a little more positive and charismatic than Gru, and is kinda like a typical brother-to-brother -brother relationship. That leaves us with one final question. Where will Despicable Me 4 fit in the timeline? Well, if you've seen the Despicable Me 4 trailers, or not, you know that Lucy and Gru also welcomed a biological son into their family, Gru Jr. So it can be estimated that the events will take place a year after Gru met Drew. And if you're not Lloyd Christmas, you know that that is 2018. But now... Now I come back to the previous question I asked you. The three adopted daughters all first appeared in Despicable Me 1 in 2012. Yet six years later, they look exactly the same which may leave even more question marks on when the new film actually takes place. So the first Minions came 3.8 billion years BC, then they met with Scarlet Overkill in the late 60s, whilst Gru was born in 1960, he took over the Minions in 1968, started plotting in 1976, followed by his family and his marriage in 2012 and 2013, meeting his brother in 2017, and now audiences can soon see what Gru experiences with a newborn in his family. 